Lala, got two. What about the pendant? What about the pendant? Had a little bit of liver going through the straps. Another silver hammered. Ducky dies. There's got to be a hole here. I've only gonna done it. Look at this geezer here, look. It's a Roman coin. I've just had a nightmare finding this. Oh my god. Did you see that red chair? Well, today I'm off to a site that I've been waiting 11 months to get back onto. It's had winter wheat in and it's near a Roman town. I found hammered coins there. I found all sorts there in a very short space of time last year. So I'm very excited. Here's how I got on. Get in there. I don't believe it. It's the first prop I find in two fields. Pretty difficult going. That's a musket ball. So that's the first good target I've dug. I've hardly had any signals. I don't know what this is, but it's very, very small. Yeah, I don't know. Looks like a little button or something. Seems to have a cross on it. I gave a good signal. So all is not lost. I've been through five fields, believe it or not. Last time I went through these fields with E-Track, I pulled out coins in every single field. As of yet, I haven't had a coin and I've been out quite a long time. Well, by my standards, I've been out a long time. So, I'm going to do this last field, which I'm not going to do a panoramic shot of, just in case something good turns up and I get besieged by Dayhawkers. And then I'm going to go back to the van, I'm going to go to the last two fields on this permission and I'm going to swap the Deus for the E-Track because I know there's a lot of coke in those fields. The E-Track does a lot better in coke. Although this is cultivated land and you'd think Deus is the obvious choice, it doesn't get ploughed. Especially those two fields that I'm going to do next, they never get ploughed, they get raked. I'm not sure exactly what the process is called, but it's basically just a series of spikes that rake the ground because the farmer isn't allowed to plough the fields because of possible medieval settlement underneath those next two fields. Uh, hopefully, I'll find something. Well, needless to say, that gave a hell of a signal. That's lead. By the looks of it, it's obviously been fashioned into some sort of weight, maybe. Although there's no hole around it. I would imagine that that was some sort of weight. This field's starting to give up a few signals now, so I'm pretty positive about this field. A lot of pottery on it as well. This gave a great signal. And I think that, apart from one or two musket balls, is the first interesting find that I've had. I don't know what it is. I'm really looking for Roman brooches, Roman coins and so on on this site because it is near a Roman settlement, but don't know whether that's Roman. Not sure what that could be, but I'm pleased with it because it's an artifact and it's an interesting one because I don't know what it is. This is very hard going, but this field is throwing up a few more signals. I do think a lot of the problem with the Deus on this land is the amount of stones that are in it. It's exceptionally stony and I think the Deus is picking up just tiny little signals from those stones making it chatter. I'll show up see because these fields are exactly the same composition as the fields I'm going to go into with the E-Track. I've never used the Deus in these fields before. So far I've used the E-Track and the Vista Gold. The Vista Gold managed to find a hammered coin, some Victorian coins. Uh, the E-Track's found all sorts. Deus is finding it hard going but I could just be in the wrong places. This might be the start of something. Could this be the first coin? Yeah, it looks very coin-like. Oh no, it's a button. God damn it! Still, it's a button. It's better than nothing. I am on new fields, so I do have to take that into consideration, but I've walked 20 meters maybe. First coin. It's got a hole through the middle of it, and it's an extremely battered Irish George the Second Halfpenny. Just see the harp on the back there? 
That's the port right side. It's not in terrible condition, apart from the fact that it's got a hole right through the middle. Now there's an interesting one. That gave a hell of a signal reading 1242 on the E-Track. I'm not sure what it is, it looks like it's part of something. But it's pretty heavy, possibly bronze maybe. Well this field shows real promise and I think I found another coin but it's absolutely contaminated with green waste. That's a little farthing. Looks like a George the Third farthing. Got the three here. That's a nice find. I'll clean that up in the tumbler at a later date, but uh, that's a good find. So I've found two Georgian coins in this field, but I've dug an absolute nation of melted aluminium, crushed cans, fittings for garden hoses, all sorts of absolute crap from green waste. I did see a big pile on the corner of this field when it still had crop in and I was praying that it wasn't green waste. It was. This field is pretty much done. Knackered. There's signals everywhere. There's rubbish everywhere. It's knackered. And I'm pissed off about that because I had real high hopes for this field. Hopefully the next one won't be contaminated. I don't think there was enough green waste to do more than one field. So, with any luck, I might find something better than this little fella. Well, this field's been contaminated with green waste as well, but I've managed to find another coin. It's a real shame that these fields are now knackered. Not sure what that is. Possibly a old hapney. Well, that was awful. It was probably one of the worst hunts I've been on which was made even worse because of all the awful green waste. Two best fields contaminated, knackered. I got sick of digging it and came home. But it's not all bad news because I've got a new member of the family. This is Angus. Angus Matangus, and we found him abandoned on a country road near death, nursed him back to health, and he's going to be helping me pick some of the winners for my upcoming competitions. I did ask my other cat Hamish, but he said he would rather sleep. And if you know me, you'll know what I would like to do with people who mistreat pets and abandon them. There. Oh, balls. There we go, it hit the mark. Destroyed my camera, but it hit the mark. Well, sorry whoever makes John Smith's, but does anybody actually drink that muck anyway? So I do apologise that this wasn't a very good uh, metal detecting video. There wasn't much to find. That site is pretty much written off now. And I'm going to move on to pastures new. Literally, pastures new. I always like hunting pasture best, and pasture's never going to be contaminated with green waste, as far as I know. It always seems to get spread on cultivated land. So I'm going to head back to the pasture. So thank you very much for watching. Wasn't much of a spectacle, but it's another video I suppose, and I did find two or three coins, which is better than some hunts, to be honest. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Hi, this is a tip how to clean your silvers. Um, I've tried electrolysis on other coins and ruined them. Uh, I didn't fancy putting this in a tumbler. And I'll give it a chance and what I did was put a drop of um, cream cleaner you know the old GIF or SIF whatever they call it now and I took just one drop and then stuck it underneath the tap so this is just showing you and you know, this was black all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to clean them up
right? You don't have to buy all these chemicals and worry about ruining your coin. So, so basically, <coughs> well, it's another like one of the richest farts. Right, just a bit of sif either side, and gently, just very gently rub. And there's all that crud coming off that. Drop of water. Like I said, I don't do it too much because I don't want them to come out looking like new coins. I want them to come out looking like finds, but you know, you want the a bit of the black tarnish to come off. I tend to leave it in the writing because it gives it that little bit of an age. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bit cleaner. Alright, so you know, like I said, don't do it too much, just a little bit. There you go, clean coin. Exactly. Well, it's another one of the richest farts.